Mr. Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I'm going to do a quick post-fight to Joseph Parker versus Haumano. Now, this fight went exactly how I thought it was going to go. Now, before I get to what I've seen in the fight, to me, it looked like Haumano was up by about count of seven or eight. I thought he clearly beat the 10 count. I don't think it was even close. Um, the, the telecast that I watched was a different language, so I couldn't understand what they were saying. But to me, it looked like it was at least seven or eight. But... Regardless of that, how Manu was down, I thought he lost every round. Um, Parker, you know, he used his jab. He was circling to his left all night. Um, just using the timing on the jab. A few times he was trying to extend the jab long and then follow up with a right hand behind it. He's not going to be able to get away with that. With that, You know, he only has a 76-inch reach. And there's guys at the top of the division with well over 80 inch reaches. So I'm not sure he's going to be able to just extend his left arm out there to time, to, uh, you know, set you up for right hand. Um, the hand speed was on point, uh, moving on his back foot and, and fighting as the uh, counter puncher, so to speak. I was kind of interested in who was going to take the role of fighting on their back foot in this fight. And I knew it would be Parker and I knew he would just time how am I new like I said trying to walk down somebody with power themselves you're in for an uphill battle man especially when you're tech when you're um when you're just trying to put up the high guard and work your way in without using your own jab and I look like what how Manu was trying to do um Parker's combination of his jab straight right hand left hook was on display how Manu did land some right hands over the top of his jab that kind of knocked um uh, Parker's head back a little bit Landed a nice left hook against the ropes on Parker. I mean, he landed some shots. Uh, Parker's game plan was pretty much to control the distance, use his jab, circle to his left, land that right hand left hook. When he got close, grab. That was the take. That was the uh, game plan, and they used it. They were successful. Um, when he did get against the ropes, Hamano couldn't really get anything done. There was a few times he just accepted being clinched. You know what I mean? He just fell right into Parker's hands. A few times he tried to let some work go. Some punches were uh, rolled. Parker rolled some of the punches, caught some of the punches. Some punches did land, but really nothing. He, there's no mustard behind those punches, man, so it really didn't hurt him. The fourth round, before that right uppercut, Parker was circling to his left. I think he threw, I think I counted 14 straight jabs he threw. So he was just setting Haumanu up. And... When he was throwing the, uh, he was circling to his left, jab, jab, jab. Then he stopped and leaned in with a nice right uppercut. Hamano didn't see it coming. It looked like kind of a Joe Lewis step in punch where Lewis was good at that, was great at that, where he'll step in with his hooks. And that's what Parker did in his fight, stepped in with a right hook. Hamano didn't see it coming. Just by the way he was following Joe around, um, had the high guard up, and the way he was getting out of the way of some of the jabs is he was bending down more, crouching down, crouching down, and he cr crouched right down into a right uppercut. Um, didn't see it coming, and Joe set it up beautifully because usually what was coming after those jabs was straight right hands. There were a few jabs and then left hooks off the jab, but mainly it was right hands. And then when he just switched up, he switched it up on a man and took a different route, and he threw that right uppercut. He never saw it coming because that punch, he wasn't, using it a lot after the jab and because of how Mano was crouching down it was all a recipe for disaster man so he got caught with that punch went down clean knockout he was visibly shook and i thought he beat the count but you know it is what it is man uh rather you know he would have got up and they would have let the fight continue i don't i, I would have seen him get knocked down a few more times maybe his corner would have stepped in and threw in the towel but i knew it was gonna be a stoppage uh I have to see what Joseph Parker and his team is saying after this fight. I know before the fight, they were saying, hey, we want the uh, Joshua. We want our turn at the title now after this fight. We don't want no more of these type of fights. So I guess we'll see what they say after this fight. I haven't uh, looked at any uh, post-fight press conferences. So I'm going to try to check those out. I'm going to check out this Izuagano fight against, uh, I believe it was Ramirez, the guy's name is. I'm going to check that out. But uh, Parker, fourth round KO. I'm out.